Counting is begin for all 70 seats in the Delhi Assembly. The stakes could not get higher for the BJP, which led Home Minister Amit Shah and Prime Minister Narendra Modi lead the campaigns. Meanwhile, Arvind Kejriwal and the Aadmi Party are hoping to hold on to the state, playing on what the party described as development plank. All exit polls suggest that Kejriwal will remain the chief minister. But like they say, the outcome is not decided till the counting for the last vote is done. Or these days, perhaps till the government has been sworn in. Joining us now to tell us why Delhi is so crucial for the BJP is Mr. Sanjay Pugalia, editorial director at Quintel and Media. Um, Mr. Pugalia, thanks so much for joining in. Good morning to you. What's your sense about the importance that this election verdict could have on the political landscape? Look, I always maintain that Delhi is a glorified municipal corporation or call it a half state. So I'm still really puzzled that why uh, BJP made it so high stake election. Maybe because uh, BJP is uh, out of power since last 22 years in uh, Delhi. Plus they have this obsession that they have to win every election, which is very legitimate uh, passion to have. Uh, but the kind of effort they made is one thing. The kind of narrative they came uh, with, they made it a referendum on Citizen Amendment Act, on NPR, on 370, on many other issues, which are kind of ultra polarizing tools that they play with. They have made it a referendum and this outcome will reflect on that whether Delhi voter has listened to them or he has gone with uh, Arvind Kejriwal who only spoke about and it was very hard work to keep the narrative uh, where he wanted to be which was his work about Bijli, Pani, Sadak Aspatal. Uh, Mr. Pugalia, it almost seems to be a given if the exit polls are to be believed that the vote has swung in or rather remain in the camp of the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, what does that tell us about, uh, with, with a presumption that is, that is going to be the likely outcome, what does, this, what does that tell us about the strategies of the parties? I mean, would a lot of people now urge the BJP to get back to the plank with which it won the 2014 uh, national elections? Yeah, but as you rightly said in the beginning that till the last vote count is counted and a government is formed, uh, nothing is certain in the new kind of Indian politics that we see. Having said that, yeah, there is a unanimity in all exit polls and if that is the outcome which is a decent to handsome or to thumping uh, victory for uh, up, that would mean that BJP will have to really think about a course correction because it is not only isolated Delhi with seven Lok Sabha seats or a small assembly uh, of 70 members. It is about losing uh, uh, Jharkhand, uh, not getting opportunity to govern Maharashtra and uh, being able to form a coalition government in Haryana with great uh, difficulty. So it will uh, be a commentary in overall sense for the entire country and just before Lok Sabha election, BJP lost Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. So questions will be raised. Uh, within the party, I don't know to what extent because there is a complete control over party mechanism and I don't know what kind of uh, disagreement or dissent uh, can emerge in the party uh, because it, it is a typical high command culture. But the demand for course correction uh, will uh, get amplified and I am sure uh, because they, 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 these people are also very smart and agile with their strategy and they uh, keep changing their tactics and strategy both. For example, uh, BJP uh, defeat in Delhi will make Nitish Kumar very happy because BJP uh, that wants to be a senior partner in uh, uh, Bihar, uh, it won't be possible. Now they can't bargain with Nitish Kumar. They will have to listen to Nitish Kumar. Otherwise, Nitish Kumar may say that, okay, I'm walking out and I will either fight separately or uh, form a new alliance, even though he has burnt all possible bridges with Congress or RJD. So, BJP will be under uh, various kind of pressure. They will have to revisit their uh, talk about development, but on the ground only polarized, polarized, polarized kind of politics. They will have to rethink on that and they will also have to rethink about their relationship with alliance, alliance partners. More than that, the big question will be thrown out, uh, uh, thrown up after this verdict of Delhi. Is SC, ST and OBC uh, strongly with the BJP? 
and I will uh, end this answer by saying this, will BJP not be defeated by Hindu voters of Delhi? So actually if Arvind Kejriwal wins very handsomely, it will mean that Hindu voters have not voted and which are these Hindu voters? Largely they will form OBC, SC, ST categories. Wow, so there are more repercussions than one when it comes to these elections. Just of these elections, Mr. Pugalia, one final question. Yesterday, the BJP has issued the three-line whip in both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. And there's a lot of speculation, I presume, in the national capital region about what could happen in the final day today. Any, any thoughts on the act and any guesses that you may have? Because I think most people are refraining from guessing what could come about or what legislation could be introduced today. Uh, complex. Uh, generally, um, on, uh, on a lighter vein, mm -hmm. if BJP had the sense that they are winning Delhi, they would not have uh, brought a new distraction today when, because they would have dominated all the television screen for a day or two. But since there is a whip, uh, I believe this will be a very important legislation. Now, will it be a distraction on the other side or on the distraction of some more polarization by using some more new ideas. I really don't want to speculate because uh, it is just few hours away from now. Uh, but definitely this is going to be a distraction. This is going to be a big thing. Is it going to be a polarizing idea or they may very swiftly react on the SC observation, SC order on Uttarakhand matter on uh, reservation in promotion. And nobody, especially no ally from Bihar is going to accept that. And BJP could be very swift in responding to that situation and really uh, surprising everyone. But this is highly speculative. I really have no idea. Yeah, maybe I, uh, maybe we should, as you said, maybe just wait. It's just a few hours away, but it promises to be an interesting political day today. Mr. Pugali, I'm sure you have your hands full. I'll watch yeah, out for your... Bringing whip. Yeah. Bringing whip only tells you one thing. No, please Bringing whip on. tells only one thing uh, that BJP is not uh, hoping a uh, hoping, uh, happy or uh, surprise uh, outcome after the exit poll from Delhi verdict. Otherwise, they would not have brought uh, this important legislative agenda today in Rajya Sabha. Reading between the lines. Uh, Mr. Pogalal, watch out for your Twitter handle as well today. But thanks so much for joining us early morning and giving us your thoughts.